Did you miss me? I'm back. <laughs> So I am going to make a little statement at the end of this video, um, basically because I haven't posted for a month. So those of you who are still around, I really appreciate you being around. Um, I did let you know that I wasn't going to be posting for a month, but it's one thing to say that you won't do that and actually do that. But I wanted to go ahead and get into the fun stuff. This is going to be kind of a two for one unboxing. Um, one of these is a very true unboxing. And the other um, I've already opened. I just want to share it with you. So I did a video like this last year. So this is essentially part two. I got new glasses in and I want to show them off. But before I get to that, um, I wanted to show you something that I got from Redbubble. My niece has a Redbubble store. She has written an amazing story that I am helping her to uh, self-publish. And it's it's, I'm telling you guys, I really hope she blows up because her story is amazing. And in her Redbubble store, which I will leave a link below, she has uh, stickers of all of the characters, the main characters in her story. And it's really cool what she's done is she's um, separated them by couple. And then she's made like a group pick. So I'm going to try to show you some of these. I'm not going to tell you who all of the characters are, but this is a... Um, YA fantasy that she has written um and it's it's multicultural you know there's magic in it there's a different you know realm there's you know different characters and creatures and things like that and she has just written this very intricate and involved story and if you follow my channel at all, you know that YA is not always my preferred genre. That doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. I just don't enjoy it all the time. And I love her story. And um, we've got amazing feedback from some of the beta readers. They're really excited about it. And so I definitely would like to encourage you guys to check out her Redbubble store, see the stickers, the, all of her characters. And um, yes, just be on the lookout for Tyler Jacqueline Jones. She's going to blow up. So now it is time for the glasses unboxing. Again, this is from Denny. Um, guys, I never did go through the process of seeing if I could become an affiliate. I'll have to do that down the road. But if, regardless, if you um, don't have a too complicated glasses um, prescription and you want something affordable, definitely try Zenny. I'm going to tell you right now, every time I go to my optometrist and they tell me that I need a new prescription, I always get at least one pair of glasses from them just in case. Luckily, this time I didn't need a new prescription, so I didn't even bother with that. Every single time I buy their glasses, $300, they fall apart every time. But when I buy the inexpensive, cool glasses from Zini, they never fall apart. So here we are. I got the box. I will back and let's open it. So I'm going to leave a link below for the previous um, video that I did last year so that you can compare. So these are all completely different than what I had from last year. I'm very excited about them. Um, they come in the traditional Zinni um, eyeglass holder. So I am so excited to see what I have here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. So I did kind of lie to you just a little bit. I forgot. So last year I um, had to replace a couple of pairs of glasses because I got a new prescription this year. My prescription stayed the same. And so one pair that I did not replace last year, I decided to replace this year because I missed wearing those glasses. So you may have seen these glasses before. Sorry about that. So here we go. Oh, and the prescription is perfect. So these are the blue ones that I had couple of years ago before my net by before last year and I didn't replace these and after a year of not having these I missed them so much that I got them again so that's that one isn't it aren't they cute I love them and I wear a lot of blue so all right so there's that let's see here what else do I have so with my wonderful collection of mini glasses I didn't get another pair of sunglasses because the ones that I got last year worked just fine, same prescription. So if I do get new sunglasses, of course, I'll show you guys those, but that's why you're not going to see sunglasses 
in this video because I didn't need to get the ones. <gasps> these are the ones that I'm so, oh my goodness. Oh, I can't wait to put these on. I wanted to try something really different, guys. I wanted to be fun and funky. Not that I'm not fun and funky, but I do think that I've been relatively reserved with some of my glasses. I have red ones and I have like these green ones and you just saw those blue ones and the clear ones, but I haven't done anything like super fun with my glasses. And if you know me, my glasses are pretty much how I accessorize. I match them with whatever I'm wearing. I don't really wear jewelry. So I'm like, if I'm going to be accessorizing with these suckers, I might as well have some fun with it. So... Here we go. Da, da, da. Oh my goodness. I love these. I love these. I can wear these with all black or I can wear it with the different colors that are in the glass. I mean, these. I think these are just so much fun. I, oh my goodness. I love them. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, guys, I, after we get through some of this fun stuff, I'm going to explain to you why me sharing this unboxing with you is so important. But Let's get, we got, I think, two more to go. Um, I do think I got a kind of reserved pair, but um, they're kind of to replace another pair that I had a while back, and I could not find that pair. So let me see, is this the one? Ouch, these are really hard to open the first time. I mean, once you get them open, they're fine, but are these the ones? I think, hold on. I should put my other glasses on because I'm going to be perfectly honest with you people. I'm kind of blind without them. So I don't know why I'm trying to look at something without wearing glasses. That's just silly. Um, okay, here we go. So these are the ones. They're not an exact replica of glasses that I used to have, but they're a little bit more reserved. But I got them specifically because I miss an old pair of glasses that I used to have. And because I couldn't find those, I wanted to try something a little different. Um <laughs> What I like about this pair of glasses is it's a different shape for me. I don't wear this shape frame a whole lot. Um, it's very similar to the frames that I have now, but you'll see when I put them on, these are a little bit more square and these are more round. Now, when I did the virtual like try on, they have your picture and they size it up and everything. It looked good online. So I'm really nervous that this may not look as cute as I want it to be because I've been really sticking with kind of blocky frames so far. So here we go, something different, not bold, but just different for me. Here we go. <sighs> oh, I like the round frames. Yeah, I do. And so these are brown, so that's why they kind of blend in with my skin. Like that's the whole point. I used to have a pair that were a little bit lighter than this and it was a different frame shape. And I, I, I think one of my author pictures online, like I'm in, you see those glasses and I'm like, I should really get some more glasses like that. But these aren't exactly the same, but I think they give me the same feel. I really like these. These might be like my go-to, like every day when I don't really, I'm not trying to like dress up or anything, but I like them. I was afraid that the round frames wouldn't work for me that well, but I think they do. I think they do. Let me just compare real quick. So these are the rounder ones and these are the more square ones. Yeah, I think I like them. I do. It's, it's different. I know you guys are probably like, you are overthinking this way too much, but oh well, I'm having fun with it. So the piece de resistance, the last pair that I absolutely promise I will wear, I will, I will wear them, but <laughs> they are probably the most bold pair for me. And that's after seeing the multicolored pair. And once I take them out, you'll understand that I am not um, like a flashy kind of person. And when you look at these, you might be like, Toy, that's not that flashy. But for me, <laughs> it's flashy. But again, I wanted to have fun with these. And um, yeah, so what we're going to, I can't believe I bought these again. I, you know, let me, let me just do this. Here we go. <laughs> These are also a very different um, cut of a frame. These are, are a cat frame. And um, not only are they a cat frame, but they got some bling on them. Oh my goodness. 
<sighs> all I need now are like some pearls. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, when I saw these online, of course I did like the virtual try on and everything. I thought they looked so cute online, but I'm like, would I ever actually wear those? And you know what guys, I'm going to make sure I wear these because they're cute and they're different and I'm going to have fun with them. So yeah, these are the new glasses that I got from Zinni. Um, these are a kind of belated birthday present to myself, partially uh, courtesy of City of Norfolk because I served on jury duty and I used some of that money for it. But um, yeah, so that is me with my yearly Zinni unboxing because I didn't have to get a new prescription. Now I have all of these glasses. I've got red ones and green ones and black ones and brown ones and multicolored ones, ones with bling on them. I have all of these glasses that I can um, accessorize with now. So thank you guys for letting me share that experience with you. Um, and so just a quick message. I wanted to put the you know emotional stuff at the end for people who are new. I don't want you to think this channel is all about emotions and stuff. I, I, I talk about books and reviews and geek stuff. But I did take a month off because I needed to take a month off. Normally, that is not something I would do. I would be trying to suffer through all of the things that I have going on. Um, and it's not like me taking a month off all my problems away. Absolutely not. I still had to deal with all the things I was dealing with. But it was um, nice to have one less stressor of trying to um, do things that I love and enjoy but when you're having difficulty just getting up every day because of these other issues that you have going on even the things that you enjoy can become tough and I didn't want that to happen so I am back and I'm going to be putting some content together but I wanted to share that with you guys um I had a really rough day at work today um my Thanksgiving um vacation break was not as calming and relaxing as I would have liked for it to be so I am just you know <laughs> I need I need a, a, a real rest and maybe I'll get that around um the Christmas holiday um if you celebrate if um or whatever you celebrate around that time hopefully you're taking some time off I'm hoping to get some time off where I don't have to do any traveling um but um I again just want to say thank you to all of you who have continued to follow me despite me not posting any content for a whole month. And um, I have some special things in plan for my Patreon community. I'm shifting gears a little bit, so I'm excited about that. So I'll be looking forward to sharing some other things with you throughout the month, guys. Stay safe and be blessed.